thanks for joining us. Thanks for either watching or listening or whatever you do to get your podcast. I'm Shannon Grimm with Shannon Grimm and Partners at Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. Today we are joined with Ainsley Nutter from, oh my God, I just... All Drive, all drive yes, thank Central you. Ohio. I'm like, I just lost it. It was right there. <laughs> and I couldn't even run grab it. But yes, All Drive, Central Ohio. Um, and then uh, Mike Stanley, of course, my knucklehead. And then we have Slavi, the handsome one we like to call him. <laughs> but anyhow... <laughs> Burn over here. Burn. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you get for making fun of me. But anyhow, so Ainsley, so you've been with um, All Drive for quite a while. Yes. And uh, so we get to see you every Wednesday usually. Mm-hmm. And then you tell us all the fun stuff that you guys are into. So what are some of the stuff that you guys can do at All Drive? So we do water, fire, mold are the main categories okay. of our company. Um, anything from disaster strikes. So all the unwanted things that you would get a phone call about is kind of what we take care of. Um, water leaks, busted pipes, um, flooded basements, anything like that. I'm going to interrupt you. Speaking all the crappy of, stuff. Speaking of flooded basements, it has to have been crazy recently with that snow melting and then all the rain. I mean, I know so in my neighborhood water. I had a couple people, and I'm lucky my house has really great slopage drainage, and we don't get our sump pump running very mm-hmm. often. It's got to be real bad for it nice. to run. But other people in my neighborhood are like, we got water coming in. So it has to have been nuts lately with it's, that. It's been a busy week, including my <laughs> poor mother. Who oh no! Had to call oh, no. me. I know. And her sub hey. pump, it it like pretty much ruptured, and it, she said it was like a water fountain uh-huh. out of her front yard, and then the whole entire front yard just started collapsing because it was so oh. wet. Oh my god! It's gosh. a disaster, but. Yeah, you know. yeah. At least she had the inside track to get to get, right. uh, get in had touch a with her. So. Yes. <laughs> so now, do you actually do you have to keep your phone on all the time? Because I get to turn my phone off at eight thirty at night. Do you actually have to keep your phone on all the time so that people can call you? Yeah, my phone's That's on. That's horrifying. And yeah, um, you know, certain times like they can turn the phones off. Mm-hmm. So we'll get a text like, "Hey, the phones are off from this time to this time," and that'll be posted for people to know but that's very rarely that Mm -hmm. the phones are turned off and if they are turned off for me or somebody else it's because there's a tech that's on night call and things like that so but besides that if someone were to call me at midnight and be like my basement is flooding then i'll be like okay i got you and we'll do that you just spring into action yeah i would not be able to do that from a dead sleep so because i would be dead asleep you can still be awake you're young yeah Yeah, but once I'm asleep, usually it's hard to wake up. My <laughs> alarm doesn't do much for me, so <laughs> I have, like, nine of those tracks every five minutes. I'm yes, I do the same. <laughs> I do, like, I set, like, four or five alarms in the morning, yep. and then I hit snooze because yes. I know and I might, I might inevitably turn one off. Oh, yeah, I've turned mine so off in my sleep and woken up hours later. That's my like worst here. enemy is my wife setting that many alarms. <laughs> <laughs> My husband can't hear anything, so it's nice. <laughs> the house could literally be burning down around us, and he'd never know. <laughs> and then, if your house was burning down around you, were caught fire. Who would you call? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that segue! Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> so, your number one business right now, obviously, is probably basements. Mm-hmm. Um, but you kind of do a full service. You're talking mold remediation, which kind of given the cir- current circumstances, some people might not realize there's, you know, a water leak happening that could yeah. turn into a mold issue. Yeah, it takes 24 hours for mold to grow after any type of water leak. So between 24 and 48 hours, mold starts to grow. So if your basement flooded overnight and you wake up and later af- that afternoon you go downstairs to grab something and you're like, why is there three feet of water? There's probably already mold growing up your walls. So it's... Wow. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot to think about. And a lot about. of times you can't see it. You, yeah, you got to take the drywall apart and you realize that it's starting to grow underneath there and it's a process it's a lot and it sucks but we're yeah. we're here to help because <laughs> <laughs> no one wants that and she says that with a smile i do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's got to be that's got to be a hard part about your job but also kind of a rewarding thing is you're getting people calling you a lot of times probably in a panic and one of the worst moments of their yeah, life. Yeah, it's, it's one of the worst yeah. moments of their week, month, year, yeah. life. Wow. But then in the end, you know, 
you get to help them out of that situation. So that gets that's probably pretty cool to do. Yeah, that's what I tell people. Mo- nine times out of ten, and I want to say ten out of ten, but most people calling me do not want to be calling me, you know? Right. But when they do call me, I'm always like, I'm so sorry that you're calling me, <laughs> but I can help you, and this is what I can do to help you and things like that. But it's always the worst thing, you know, waking up and there's three feet of water, your house is on fire, um, and on the other side of that, we don't do much of this because we don't see much of it, but we can do toxic materials and biohazard. Wow. It's good that you so, don't see much of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're not our main targets, and they're not things that we have to focus on, which is a great thing, you yes. know? So. Yeah, my biggest fear is that my house will catch on fire. So it's one of the reasons why I'm having my bathrooms redone, because I was told that the biggest source of fire in homes are the uh, fans in the bathrooms, and our half-bath fan shakes our entire house. So, do you see that a lot, too? Yeah. Yeah. It's always, like, something very random that Mm -hmm. maybe if you weren't thinking about it, you wouldn't connect the dots of, oh, that small thing could give a big explosion. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I know I I did not expect, like, you know, my dryer vent, obviously, lint goes in there, Mm -hmm. and, you know, people clean those out there. It's understood that that could possibly catch fire at some point, especially if you're not cleaning it out. Some people understand that. Some people understand it, yes. I think that's a little bit more common knowledge than, say, a bathroom fan, which I had no idea ours would collect so much, and Mm -hmm. I have kids, obviously, too, so that does not help. Ours are 40 years old. Well, our house is only four years old now, coming up on five, and our kids' bathroom, I've already had to go in there and clean that dang thing out, like, twice, and it's... It's unbelievable, and people probably never look at that. And then on top of it, getting stuff in there, getting dirty, they age, mm-hmm. you know, the motor starts to burn out, so, you know, things can happen. So. Well, I've even gone into homes that are like a year old, and I look up in the vent fan, and it's like, whoa, did you notice that? And people are like, no. And it's like, it looks like it's growing fur. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you kind of have to clean that out. <laughs> like, that should just be, you know, an easy one, just before we even list it. So right. prevent issues. So what's your turnaround time? Like, I know you probably get some more non-emergent calls, mm-hmm. like, hey, we need somebody to come out and look at, yeah, is this potentially mold? What's it going to cost to remediate it? And there's certain things that aren't as emergent. What are your typical turnaround times to get to see someone like that? And what's your turnaround time for something that's more emergency related? So we are 24-7, so you can call us at any time. If it's an emergency, we have a one-hour response time. Wow. So that is crazy. That's, <laughs> wow. So, wow. so do you charge more for that, or? No. Oh, um, wow. Like we have MSAs and PSAs that we can obviously have with other companies and things like that, but that's what just saying. What are those things, sorry? What, what are what? Sorry. What are the MSAs the MSA and, and PSAs? So, um, pretty much just agreements. If we were to come out and just let you know, like, okay, you're our top priority. And let's say we had an agreement with you guys or mm-hmm. something, and you guys call and, oh, our building is leaking. We drop what we're doing and we service. Uh, so we have agreements okay. that can do those things with companies. But, for example, if it's a residential home yeah. and they just call and they're like, my basement is flooding right now, we need someone out here. Mm-hmm. We, If we're not doing anything, we have an hour response time for those disasters to come out. We'll be there within the hour. Um, and we'll get right to work just because when it's well, a that flood, has to make people feel good, too. Yeah, because, you I mean, you don't want to sit there with water right. in your no, basement. that's so awesome. If you find it early enough and you can call us and it wasn't sitting there and we can do what we can to get it out, we can do that. We A story time is we got a call. This was my third week working with them, and we got a call at 3 a.m., of course, because yeah. everything happens at 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m., they're like... That's <laughs> when my smoke alarms always go off. Yes, I know, exactly. That's what I said. Everything happens then. <laughs> it, was, it was barely even raining that day, so we weren't expecting anything big. And we got a call. Our basement is flooding everywhere. We were there from 3.30. We got there 30 minutes later. Wow. The owner of the company was five minutes away, so he got there first, and then everyone else met him. The techs met, met him out there. They were there until 7.30 in the morning. And they ripped up all the carpet, put fans down, and they didn't have to replace any of the walls, any of the drywall, wow. any of the trimming around. That's impressive. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was it was crazy, and I was sitting there like, what? What and caused it? They, just the small amount of rain had leaks in their back and where it scooped under, and it just went right through right the through. basement. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, Oof. I went to a final walkthrough one time, and there was like a water fountain coming out of the side of the basement. <laughs> it was like literally like someone had a hose. I behind saw that the video. Wall. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that one too. Yeah. I was like, what like someone is had a hose on? behind the wall, and it was just shooting out. I was like, well, I guess there's a new water feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I've shown a house before, and you couldn't get past like six steps down because then you touched water. And then I called the agent to tell the listing agent, hey, there's water in your basement. And they were furious with me. And I'm like, I didn't put it there. I'm just (laughs) telling you it's there. I would have loved. I would have loved on your final walkthrough if the seller or builder who I can't remember. There was a. It was resale. a resale. I would have loved if the seller had put a plastic baby pool down there for it to yes. squirt into. <laughs> 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 we, like, we installed a spa for you. <laughs> like, I keep picturing like some bowl with like a cherub on it, like gathering the water, yeah. like having it go into this cherub bowl thing. Like, I don't know. Whenever I think of that house, that's what I think of is the cherub bowl. That's in the basement. awesome. So, um, Ainsley, what, uh, you said you do commercial as well. Mm-hmm. So are you co- contracted with a, a number of companies? I'm sure you guys are always looking to pick pick commercial contracts up as well to help people out. Yeah, so we're leaning towards commercial because we're on year two of the business. And mm-hmm. so we're still pretty small. So we've gotten a lot of residential contacts and built that up. And now trying to lean towards commercial is kind of our next focus. And, and co- I mean, commercial is huge. I was just at... I'm sorry, a little anecdote here. I was at Tim Hortons. You would expect nothing less. Tim Hortons Sunday <laughs> with my kids. It was after church. We were going through. I always we try to get them donuts for sitting through an hour of church. So we were in the drive-through. It's always was, good to bribe your children with sweets. Of course. Why not? Why wouldn't you bribe them with sweets? So what the hell? What are you yes, talking I'm about? I'm not related. <laughs> <laughs> so we were sitting in the drive-through. We were a couple cars back, and it was raining pretty heavily that day. And this was after all the melt we've had. Uh, and someone kept climbing up the ladder to the roof and kept like looking over and I was like oh they got a leak coming in somewhere I know Uh they do and he kept going up there and then calling somebody while on the ladder I was like get off the ladder before you make that call but I mean I know those you know the commercial buildings restaurants and things Mm -hmm. they and I've worked in restaurants for a while they all have leaky roofs (laughs) they all do they all need redone so before this that's exactly where i was working was serving bartending and doing all that and they're always leaking somewhere yes yes so by some booth that everyone wants to sit at you're like you can't sit there (laughs) yes one that i actually worked at years ago the roof caved in so it was shut down Hopefully that wasn't when people were there. <laughs> uh, I hope not. But yes, it's been relocated. <laughs> but yes, no, it was just an old, old building. So, but it was it always had issues. But yeah. So, what region do you service? Like, how far is your spread from Columbus? So we do all of Central Ohio. So it's pretty much just Franklin County and all the counties that surround that. All so the touch that's counties the best touching. Way it. I can explain it. All the counties that touch Franklin County. Is okay. When we surface. So. Perfect. Pretty yeah. good amount. I mean, that's yeah. huge, that's pretty much what we do. I was gonna say that's pretty much what we <laughs> yes, do. Exactly. We'll go outside of it every once in a while, a little yeah. bit. But that's pretty. Right. We pretty much <coughs> like to stay right there. For someone there, special, so. we will go outside yes. of that. Yeah. <laughs> I like to say we do about eight counties, unless you're really special, then we'll consider. Right, and if you need our help too, we'll always be like, okay, we can make it out there. And if we mm-hmm. have the time to drive that extra hour or so, like, we'll we'll be there. But if. Technically speaking, we're just right here in Central Ohio. Yeah, it well, makes sense. You want to though. make it within yeah. an hour, so yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, especially That's with that response right. time, like if yeah. Oh, <laughs> the response time's within an hour, but they're two hours away. It's yeah. right. That's hard a to meet expectations. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it seems like you guys are always busy, and that uh, your owner makes an appearance quite often too. So yeah, he likes to come as much as he can. I mean, he's also busy and. Darren, and he responds to calls too. Yeah. It seems like so. Darren's around too. He's, I mean, with the techs a lot. So he actually had the BNI seat before I did, mm-hmm. um, and then now he's usually out on the jobs and helping everyone. And I mean, it's been a busy week, and I've gotten a lot of calls, and so I've sent them out, and they're doing their thing, and we're helping people, so that works. And that's good. You don't have to go out, right, on calls? No, um, I do. Well, they're hoping that I can go out on some jobs and, you know, get the lighting right and get some good before and after pictures and do stuff like that. And um, I'm being trained right now to be able to go out and quote people so that if our techs are on a job Mm -hmm. and I get a call and they're just like, oh, what about a mold quote? I can go out and do that so that we're not behind a day later. That's good. And it makes you even more valuable. 
and it's honestly a little interesting. I didn't mm-hmm. think that I would, you know, like be mold so as like, much as you do. Oh my god, mold, <laughs> water, but I'm also like, mold. <laughs> like, Whoa, what? right? But then I'm also like, wait, what? Like, I'm learning a lot, so mm-hmm. I'm in the process. I'll come back in now, a few weeks and know a lot more information. But so, how did you get into this? So, um, actually, the owner of the company, I was serving him. At a restaurant, and he came in before. It happens. His, Sounds yeah, familiar. Yeah, Sounds before familiar. Before his daughter's soccer game. So he, um, I was their server for the whole table, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I know your daughter. She hangs out with my little brother. And he was like, oh my gosh. And then we ran into each other a week later at the gym, and he was like, you know what? We need to have a meeting. So we had a meeting, and he was like, you know, what do you do during the day? And I was like, nothing right now. <laughs> I'm like, staying around, working. <laughs> And he was like, well, you like to talk, and you are, are a people Personal, person. And yeah. I was like, yeah, that's me. I, I agree with that. And he was like, well, I need this in sales. And my dad was like, oh, you love sales. And I took it, and I ran with it, and here I am months later, and I love it. So That's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. been at least a year, right? Only, it's only, I'm on eight months. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So when I first met you, I would have thought you'd been doing it longer. So and I would have met you in November. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> November of last year? No. Okay. You joined up in summertime. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't think Summer. so. Summer. That's when I started. I don't think so. Yeah, you joined up in like August. <coughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, August or September. September, I think it was. Yeah. Ma- mm-hmm. Maybe I could go with September. Okay, I'm sorry. I was like three uh, weeks off. My bad. You were saying I mean, November. Three weeks is a lot. We were there. Time, Ken was supposed to bring Thanksgiving. He didn't do that. It got pushed. Oh, yeah. You've been there a while at that point. No, yeah, point. I was going to say that was like sep- <laughs> September might be right. Good I thought point. it was more like August. But yes, Ainsley is part of our B&I group. So, um, and that is a early morning meeting. And for oh, those yeah. of you that know your share of real estate agents, 730 is not an optimum time for meetings. Because <laughs> this one does not have enough tea by then. So, you know. And they, they didn't have coffee at first. When yeah, we I, thought so gonna, started, oh, I, I thought he was going to. Now to do. I thought he was going to have a fit. He's like, what do you mean there's no coffee? There's no snacks? Like, what is going <laughs> snacks, on? Snacks didn't bother me that much. It's literally the coffee. You had coffee and snacks. I'm psyched. But without coffee at 730 in the morning, I was like, I may stab somebody here. He's like, wait, we're here for an hour and a half. Like, what is going on? <laughs> so then after that, though, they've had coffee. I was going to say, they feel like they have coffee almost every week. It was after he was like, <laughs> yes. it was after he was like, <laughs> I'm like, like horrified. I actually right? don't pay to be here and I only come like <laughs> once a month, but I will kill all of you if you don't have coffee next right. time. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah, like so fake it's coffee, group. so I can't even drink it. I'm like way more creamer than actually coffee. I've never no. tried coffee in my life. Yeah, I get like first watch iced coffee, but besides that, you can't catch me eating coffee, drinking yeah. coffee. It's not that good. I just don't think so. Like, not I don't know. Good. And hot beverages just really? don't appeal to me. What? Me either. I'm like an iced person. Iced person. Yeah. I feel yeah, like, like you're getting hooked on the coffee. Oh, you, you know, like, hooked. yeah. So it, that, I don't think it tastes good when you don't drink coffee. See, I think that's when it. When you try it, like, first time. I but, I yeah, we're hooked on it. I think I know that I have, like, an addictive <laughs> personality. So it tells me that I should stay away from, like, even trying coffee. Uh, yeah. So I just had a that. cup during our last podcast. Look, he's smiling like crazy right? thinking yeah. about it. Like, yeah. oh, I had coffee like <laughs> a half hour ago. I'm freaking psyched. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But Ainsley, like, um, so when an average person calls you out, like just for residential, because that's what we do a lot of is residential. So you do free quotes for stuff? Yeah. So we do free inspections okay. and then we'll write up the quote, send it to them, and then they have to let us know, like, okay, this is something we can do, or we can also connect it with the insurance for them and see if insurance will cover it. They can do it themselves, or we can do it for them. Oh, but that's okay. awesome, nice. Yeah. Some people hate dealing with insurance, yes. and sometimes dealing with them is a pain in the butt, so the fact that you guys can take care of that for them just makes it that much better. Right. The option is theirs. You know, some people want to know everything about everything, and then other people, like me, it's... I trust done. you figure yeah. it out. <laughs> Take yes. care of it for me. It's <laughs> your area. Get right. it done. Right. Your specialty, not mine. So. Yeah. yeah. So basically, if someone says, okay, we're ready to go, but what's your average wait time before someone gets out there to start the work? So if we quote it and they're like, all right, yes, we can do that the next day. Wow. So if, okay. yeah, if we quote it and they're like, well, I'm free tomorrow, then 
I what I try to say on the phone with someone is give me a two to three hour window that would work for you and then they let me know then I call my text hey between these three hours they said you guys can start work which one would work best for you wow. this is best for everybody and then I give them a call back oh 2 30 works best for my text how does that sound and then oh, and you give a specific yeah. time when you call back that's yeah. rare nowadays rare I mean nobody does it <laughs> no who does, does it yeah. the company that would no, come I'm in waiting like for an appointment to get back to me that's supposed to be there sometime today yeah, see, I don't, I never <laughs> yeah like those that. are the best <laughs> we get like uh, five hour windows and stuff <laughs> see I yeah I don't like that so when I take the appointment I try to I'm on the phone with the customer and I'm like okay I will call my tech right now and I will call you back in the next 10 to 15 minutes then I call my tech and I'm like choose one because I'm going to call this person back right now and I'm going to tell her or mm -hmm. him this time that's awesome so I think it works best, and it just makes people a little it bit does. more at ease. Like well, because they're already in a bad situation. Right. So and the fact that you're not trying to screw them over by giving them this ginormous time frame. Right. And also, some people also can't helps a lot. sit but at that home helps a lot. in no, a yeah. flooded house for seven That's what hours. I was going to say. Your house is flooded. Well, we'll be there between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., so if you just want to float on a raft right. for that time, like that'd be cool. There. <laughs> but just sit there and think about all the mold that's growing while you right. wait for us to show up. Yeah, I just think in that situation, it's really good that you're giving them an actual time frame. I try to be well. as quick as possible, so. Yeah. Anything else you want to share with us about what you do? Gosh. What did I say we're 24-7. Call us anytime. Okay. We're here. But and how do they get a hold of you? Um, our phone number, you can call my phone number directly. We have the online phones on the website. Um, my phone number directly isn't on the website, but... The, the one online is the one that's never turned off, so you okay. guys can always call that one, but you can also call my work phone. Do you want to give them your phone number? 614-726-0905. I will most likely answer. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your website? Um, just All Drive Central Ohio. Excellent. Yeah. Nice. Okay, Perfect. well, thanks nice. for joining us. Thanks Thank for you. having me. And thanks for listening or watching or whatever you've done. Uh, we appreciate it. We appreciate everyone's support. <laughs> And they always laugh at me, but it is what it is. <laughs> so, anyhow, remember to like and share and subscribe and follow. And Abby is doing something to me. Like, comment, me. subscribe, follow, leave a comment, share. and hit that notification bell. <laughs> at Shannon Grimm Realtor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.